good morning children welcome back to the second term of class 10 so before going into the chapter we'll quickly see the index see the contents and we'll see what are the chapters we are going to have for this term okay take the contents take the page in which you have the contents so for this term you will have chapter 6 8 9 10 11 and 12 okay so totally we have 12 chapters have 12 chapters 6 we did for first term and 6 we will be doing for the second term 6th chapter 8th 9th 10th 11th and 12th okay so 6th chapter is actually to do with the to do with light 8 9 10 is due to do it's related to electricity calorimetry is related to heat modern physics is related to radioactivity is related to modern physics okay so these are the chapters that we're going to have for this term okay so today we're going to start with chapter 6 spectrum okay so turn to page 133 page 133 so this is a very small chapter when compared to the uh, other chapters of light this is a comparatively smaller chapter and mm, so the good news is uh, applications of scattering of light is this part okay this chapter again has three parts a b a b and c c part is completely cut off you don't have c part so you have only two parts a and b and those are also quite small okay children so we'll start with the chapter so uh, the scope of syllabus says deviation produced by a triangular prism dependence of color of light okay now this chapter is dealing with spectrum now when you hear the word spectrum what comes to your mind you know that whenever white light is made to fall on a prism it splits into seven colors okay so two three four five six and seven okay so seven colors are formed so at the first surface okay we'll come to that later okay then okay now uh, it, this happens with white light sunlight is white light but if you pass any monochromatic light monochromatic means light of single color light of single color so if I pass an yellow light or red light so light of single color if I pass so then you get the normal the ordinary the diagram that you had for glass prism that one so original path will be like this but the ray will bend like this okay incident ray refracted ray and then this is the normal ray should have gone like this and it will go like this that is the emergent ray okay angle of incidence angle of refraction this and this and then angle of emergence now the main angle is angle of deviation angle of deviation so angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation this angle is called angle of deviation this is of this has a very important significance in this one okay so when it is yellow light if i send a right of one color this is called monochromatic light monochromatic means single color light then this will happen the light will bend and go like this okay finally it will go towards the base bend towards the base and there will be an angle of deviation if it would have been white light if it had made white light hit on the uh, prism then i would have had seven colors in the output okay, we'll see that later now um there in two surfaces deviation takes place the first deviation takes place in the first surface it should have gone like this it's going like this so let me mark this deviation as deviation one then the second surface again the ray should have gone like this but it is going like this so this is deviation two let's take this as deviation two so it will be found that this total deviation is equal to deviation 1 plus deviation 2 
this total deviation angle of deviation will be del 1 plus del 2 okay so this is the first thing that you are going to uh, see in this chapter okay so total deviation del is equal to so this diagram you can draw and um, okay here is del 1 here is del 2 and this is del and del is equal to del 1 plus del 2 now factors affecting angle of deviation this you have studied already in b part of light chapter okay if you remember in b part of light chapter we had that we studied about the precept we had factors affecting angle of deviation so in this we saw mainly angle of incidence and then material angle of prism and color of wavelength of the slide okay so in spectrum chapter we are going to see how angle of deviation depends on color or wavelength of light here we just said inversely now we are going to see why and how and all that okay so um, so they have given all the three factors this you have studied in already in chapter 4 so in this chapter we will discuss how the deviation produced by a prism depends on the color or wavelength of incident light okay now before going into it you should know this color or wavelength now every color has a particular wavelength you know white light has seven colors so with gr violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red each color has a particular wavelength range violet has violet has 4000 angstrom to 4460 angstrom if you remember last year we had this conversion one angstrom is equal to 10 power minus 10 meter okay now looking at the table you need not memorize this okay please don't you don't have to memorize this but you have to uh, know this red's wavelength is more than violet out of the seven colors lambda of red is the greatest okay and usually we'll compare red and violet so lambda of red is greater than lambda of violet this conclusion you have to remember which we'll be using later another thing now what is so special about wavelength okay so different colors differ in their wavelength okay so wavelength is the characteristic of color irrespective of its origin okay light of the same color from different sources it can be from different source if it's a red light it can be from different source but all the red light will have the same wavelength okay now the conclusion the main thing is color is the subjective property of light related to its wavelength okay wavelength is a number that's an objective or okay objective means you can it will tell you the number okay but what will be visible to your eye is you don't see the wavelength and all what can you see is is the color so when you see different colors it means they have different wavelength so once in both question they asked a question like this name the subjective property of light related to its wavelength color or name the objective property of light related to its color okay then you will write wavelength so this is one sentence so you should remember it color depends on wavelength and color is the subjective property and wavelength is objective property objective means it will tell you an exact value different colors differ in their wavelength this also you should know okay now let's go to the main part dependence of deviation on color or of light okay so for this we need to uh, see this spectrum so uh, again before doing this let's do this one dispersion and spectrum now what is dispersion the phenomena of splitting of white light into its constituent colors is called dispersion okay so the, this phenomena of splitting white light into seven different colors is called dispersion and what is spectrum these seven colors that are obtained are called spectrum now you know that violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red 
bib gr okay so violet will be so it will be don't write from in the okay down to up remember like that down to up so from the diagram tell me which color has bent more violet yeah because this is the original path okay original path but violet is going like this the angle of deviation will be quite a large whereas red is bent slightly deviation for red is less but deviation for violet is more so that is our conclusion deviation for deviation of violet light is greater than deviation of red light deviation of violet light is red than greater than deviation of red light now what do you know about the wavelength wavelength of violet is less than wavelength of red or wavelength of red is more than wavelength of violet so what can i conclude between deviation and wavelength they are inversely proportional once again i'll repeat from the diagram you can see that violet bends more okay see just see the violet's path this should have been the original path but violet is going like this so the angle of deviation is quite a lot so i write angle of deviation for violet is greater than angle of deviation for red angle of deviation for red if i take this is the original path this very small angle whereas for violet if i take it will be a big angle so angle of deviation for violet is greater than angle of deviation for red but from the table i also know that wavelength of violet is great is less than or wavelength of red is less greater than wavelength of violet from this what can i conclude about relationship between the angle of deviation and wavelength they are inversely proportional so deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength that is my conclusion that is red light lambda of red is greater than lambda of violet but deviation of red will be less than deviation of violet i hope you are clear with this concept okay so the conclusion is wavelength and deviation are inversely proportional so whichever color has less wavelength that will be deviated more and whichever color has more wavelength will be deviated less okay so that is what is given in this paragraph here a few things so you can understand underline the main thing is the deviation caused by a prism increases with decrease in wavelength of light okay this is the important point okay so deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength that is the conclusion we deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength so deviation cost increases with decrease in wavelength you are supposed to know this relationship that's all okay then um, run this run this now come to cause of dispersion cause of dispersion now why did this splitting take place till here they were traveling together why did it split here it's because all these seven colors when they were traveling in air they were traveling together okay they were traveling means the speed of the colors are same in air when sunlight emits white light white light has all the colors but in air okay in in the medium air they all were traveling with the same speed they were all traveling with the same speed so they were all coming together as a single white light okay that's the reason why they came as a single color but the moment it enters into glass their speed changes okay each color will be having a different speed that's the reason why they split into seven colors no more they can travel together because their speed is different in glass different colors travel with different speed in glass so that's the reason why they split and then again in this surface there is bending okay this ray will further bend because there is again a glass air interface so 
again it will bend little more bend towards the normal always the purpose of a prism is to bend the ray towards the normal so it will bend like this okay so the conclusion is so main reason for splitting is because la, uh, different color travels with different speed in med in the medium glass dispersion of white light is the is the change in speed of light is wavelength when white light enters the sur surface of prism light of different colors due to their different speed in glass gets deviated through different angles towards the base of the prism okay because white light has seven colors and all the seven colors have different wavelength and so they have different speed in glass so when they enter into glass they split into seven colors okay that's the main thing different colors due to their different speed in glass gets deviated through different angles towards the base so and they split and they go into different path okay so um on the two things are very important in this so this is the first surface and this is our second surface right this is the first surface in the first surface what has happened only splitting in first surface only splitting has happened has happened in the second surface so first surface let's take this as a b c so a b first surface is a b second surface is AC. In the first surface only splitting happens in the second surface bending happens further bending okay so this conclusion is very important okay dispersion of white light occurs only at the first surface so dispersion occurs only at the first these conclusions are very important okay related to cause of dispersion if you know this point it's enough different colors due to different speed in glass gets deviated through different angles and then they split into different path now the important conclusions related to dispersion are first thing dispersion happens dispersion means splitting splitting happens only at the first surface okay dispersion is basically splitting so splitting happens only at the first surface of prism second deviation occurs at both the surfaces okay there is a deviation here of course it will not go in its original path okay there is a deviation here and there is a deviation here also splitting happens in first surface but deviation happens in both the surface deviation of light rays occurs at both the surfaces third point the prism does not produce colors but it only splits various colors present in the light incident on it okay the prism does not produce color it's the white light that has the seven colors and the prism only helped in splitting this into seven different colors it does not produce the seven colors is it clear children so these three conclusions please memorize what happens in the first surface what happens in the second surface okay so that is all about first part so we have completed the first part so this diagram showing deviation 1 deviation 2 and the total deviation and then you should know this Devi total deviation is deviation 1 plus deviation 2 and then factors affecting have already studied so in this part we're going to study about how deviation depends on color or wavelength of light and the important thing that you should know here is deviation caused by a prism increases with decrease in wavelength they are inversely proportional then come to this point color is the subjective property of light related to its wavelength then come straight away here study the definition of dispersion definition of spectrum then cause of dispersion of white light and formation of spectrum so this is the main thing when light of different colors when white light enters the first surface the light of different colors due to their different speeds in glass they split into they split into seven colors or they get deviated through different angles and these are the conclusions okay these are the conclusions related to dispersion 
the conclusions related to the phenomena of dispersion so this is the these are the three conclusions is it clear so i think it's comparatively simpler when compared to the um, other chapters at least the other two light chapters yeah now you can have questions like this this was a light which has a combination of blue red and green now when it splits you will only draw three colors okay now while drawing um, spectrum on the dispersion phenomena please pay attention normal so what you do this should have been the original path and this is your this is your normal now between this and this the seven line should come not on this line you should not start on this line because there is a refraction there is bending so not from this line so from below this starts draw seven lines closer to each other four five six and seven is it clear children so this is how you have to draw okay not on the original path below this and above the normal seven lines you have to draw so you should use a sharp pencil and then get seven draw the seven colors now this surface further bending will happen that means what you have to show don't show the line like this no again you know it will bend towards the base so you should draw, draw like this draw like this and the gap will increase here the gap was this much but here the gap will be more so they will again so you should show them bending like this okay so again don't draw anything in this line because this is the original path it will not go like this it will bend then you write violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red and this is white light this is white light okay and this diagram that you used to draw in fourth part that was monochromatic light this diagram this diagram the incident ray will be a monochromatic light that is right of single color then you will get such a diagram if it was white light then you will get such diagram okay so you so should actually show bending in every case okay now so um so when you draw this for this diagram so three colors again it you will show bending here and then because they have given only these three blue red and blue, blue green and red in with gr blue comes below green okay and red comes above so red will be at the top green will be the middle one and blue at the top okay same thing happens in a um glass block but in a glass block you won't see the spectrum visible why now now this prism splits it into seven colors right now if i keep another prism in the opposite direction okay in this case angle of prism is upwards in this case angle of prism is down so i'm keeping it opposite ulta of that base is at the top angle of prism is the tape at the bottom so what will happen is these seven colors they are going to bend towards the base and all of them will meet here and go out as a single ray this is called recombination in this splitting occurred and in this recombination is taking place all the seven colors are meeting together and the light that is going out will be white light okay now if you combine these two that will be the structure of a so a glass slab will be like this i can i can consider it to be made up of two prisms 
one like this and the other one like this so if i if i make a white light incident on this maybe it will split into seven colors okay i i need to draw all the colors i'm just drawing the extreme ones so violet and red okay again these colors because it is passing through another prism which is kept with the angle of prism down so they will recombine this will bend like this this will bend like this and both are going to meet here and it will go out like single ray as a white light so dispersion you cannot see in slab it will be seen only in prism and that's the reason why the incident ray here is parallel to emergent ray is it clear children okay so with this this part is over now i'll be uh, giving few questions for homework you can try that and send it to me by today night thank you so much